I can only hope. <laughs> and then I'm just going to type messages to you, and you'll have to read them out while you're playing the game. That'll be great. I, uh, I bet I could turn streaming mode off on Discord, and it would it would text-to-speech that stuff with a robot voice. With the robot voice. With the robot voice. All right, so... Uh, I don't know. Yes. Computers. All right. Hey, Twitch. Good evening. We're back with uh, the Evil Within Two. Kenneth is on the on the line. He's uh, here via satellite. Um. And uh, oh, I got an update for this damn game. There's a new option called Frame Rate Lock, which has been added. Okay. Yeah. So. This is a this is a PS4 Pro thing. Um, when the when the Pro came out, they were like, "Okay, games are now gonna be allowed to like opt in to uh, do some configurations and tweaks." Um, I don't actually know what that just said. I. I, I I saw a prompt and I just accepted whatever it was that was like a end user license agreement moment right there. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, so games games can now elect to uh, to say, hey, you know what? I want to optimize my my CPU for uh, for more frames per second, or uh, I want to push the resolution up to 4K, or I, I don't know. You get to pick pick your trade-offs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Frame rate lock locked. What if I unlock? Higher, but more variable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's fine. Well, we're going to roll with it. Because, uh, because I don't have a 4K display, and um, this actually does feel a little, a little more silky. I gotta say, I don't think that's right. Could be. So I feel like uh, the more zombie types that I encounter. They, uh, they keep adding those types, whatever they are, out into the open. Or maybe I'm just noticing them more. I don't know. It's kind of like Pokemon, right? I mean, I, I think maybe I'm just maybe I'm just in a different part of town, and so so as far as I know, girl crying is the uh, is the main story, and um, yeah. 
Mm. Well, I mean, he thought she died in a fire that he w let happen. Yes. No. Not even. They, uh... I, yeah, I did, but I... That could have been it. I, I tapped the button and nothing happened, and yeah, it does say full. Although, that is a health pack. So I'm just going to make a mental note that there's a health pack right outside <laughs> the pit stop. Um, and I guess, I guess this is where we're going. Wait, hold on. So that's the safe house. There's a fallen Mobius operative. Did, uh, okay, well, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll think about visiting him the next time I'm in the area. Which will be never. Not going back. Yeah. I like this place. It's, uh. It, it reminds me of. Oh. Yeah, but, but what the fuck happened out there? Hmm, okay. Oh. Moon rays from Venus? Wait. What the? So I was going to say, I... I like this place because it reminds me of um, Are these the gas station in Silent Hill Downpour. Uh, Lily? Yeah, they're tiny. Are you here? We're being visited by the uh, the zombie oh, zombie Trump ghost of uh, <laughs> the ghost of. Uh, I just, it, it happens accidentally. Really? I just think Trump is funny. Okay. And so, it's you know, me. it's not even politics at this point. Damn it. All right, calm down. How do I get in there? Hmm. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, S Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD. That was... That's all they did. Like, why would you bother? Why would you bother? Okay, holy shit. I think I did you a disservice. Yes, I did. I had, uh, I had two... I don't know what's happening right now. I had two near identical scene setups in uh, OBS. Uh, one of them had both mics, and uh, the other one only had mine. And I guess I had uh, I, I I dropped your your witty banter there, which is ironic considering we spent all that time making sure your mic was working, and, and then I just ruined it. It's fine. All that you missed was somebody banging on the door trying to get in to find Lily. And then the doll 
here? Yeah, the doll doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just weird that because of this big reveal of, oh my god, there's her doll, and then, hey, you don't need to worry about the doll anymore. No. So wait, is there... Am I supposed to be doing something else now? Are we done? Search for clues behind the restaurant. Okay. We're going back. Okay. I'm Maybe I'm weird. But I hate oh, it when like, games like reveal stuff to you that you have no right to, to know. Like you're inside the pit stop. Why would you suddenly then go, I need to search behind the pit stop? Well, yeah, I mean... So, and I get that they have to keep moving the story, but Another still, signal. right? Like, good. I'm coming, sweetheart. Just hang in there. Where are you? She's not real. <laughs> Where are you? I'm just gonna keep listing. To that same clip. Oh, they're doing an Evil Dead thing. Uh-oh. What is the... Oh. Oh, no, there's a lot of them. It's a croc. There's more than one. Uh-oh. I'm leaving. Uh-oh, they're the demo dogs. The demo corgis. I guess I, guess I shouldn't... We shouldn't talk too much about Stranger Things Season 2 just yet. Spoilers. People may not have seen it yet. I just finished it last night myself. Yeah. I did was, you? Uh, I was very impressed with how well they did a second season. Did you make it through without without the spoilers? I did. I made it through with no spoilers. Um, I was I was very very pleasantly surprised with how well they, how well they did a second season because it's hard to sequel a show that has that much hype. Uh huh. And, and they did a good job on it. I felt like I, uh, I felt like they dialed back the um, what I felt was like wanton pandering for nostalgia. Like I really I had a hard time with that first some, season. Yeah. And I, I felt like the second one was a little a little more measured, and I was glad to see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the exception of like the first couple of episodes, with all the you know, Ghostbusters uh, costumes and stuff. They didn't do a whole lot of, like, oh, my God, look, we're in the 80s. Yeah. Um, they, did a, they did a good job of making it just seem pretty, like, day-to-day. -day. I feel real sorry for the kid that plays Will. Like, that kid only ever gets, like, four lines in a season. Yeah, Will sucks. It's just kind of, yeah, it's just like, dude... If you had known how little you were actually going to be in the show, would you have signed on? Because, <laughs> poor kid. Oh, that's not creepy at all. We got a, a camera. We got a camera and a dead body over there. A cam, a camera in the bushes. Yeah. Uh. Mm hmm Between one fern. We know. We know what you're doing. But you're not gonna get any good. You're not gonna get any good shots from that angle. You're too low. <sighs> Four so, year old doesn't even know how to frame a shot. Yeah, he thought he was something. I don't know. Setting up his own little gallery space. Oh, I don't. I don't have mm -hmm. room for another axe. So I guess really I'm just trying to uh, ramble my way Oops. through. Through this yeah. neighborhood. I'm going the wrong way. I should place a marker. You gotta get over to the... To that circle. What are, what are those green circles off to the side there? Well, it said something about... Um, oh, it's, it's an, just another resonance point. And that was... Uh, oh, okay. For the, the side quest stuff. Yeah, that was that, the, um, the Mobius operatives, right? Right. And I think I was over there. I was all over this area. I'm pretty sure you were, yeah. So I don't know why it's got, like, t two tiny little... Maybe it's just helping you remember. Two yeah, tiny little like splashes of side quests out there. It, it's like, you know, Google Maps being like, Hey, remember when you went to this place in 2012? Oh. 
And you're just like, no, I don't remember that gas station. Uh oh. Saw a pulse. I did too, but I. I don't know what the. You'd rather, you'd rather go in here and see about the rats. I um. You never, you never go look at the rats, man. The rats were alluring. You can stand up and then stab you in the face. See? Totally right, fine. So maybe not the stab you in the face part, but get that goo. I, yeah, that's why I came in here. I wanted to get paid right quick with an empty drawer. God damn it. <laughs> um, that's that's very disappointing. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like playing like a you know Dark Souls where you have to find those fashionable crates and you're like, sweet, there's gonna be something hidden back here, and then now there's nothing there. This looks like that compound that we went to last week where uh, there were just a ton yeah. of ton of things. It does kind of look like that. Uh oh. Oh no, I woke them all up. That? Uh oh, don't wake them all up. I don't know, okay. My dude. Uh, what if I told you that I could just okay. run around you? I was talking to them actually, it wasn't. <laughs> I understand, I'm yes. not your dude. That's fine. It's so funny when he's like looking over his shoulder, just kind of swaggering around. Uh oh! Oh God! Swagger. How did? What? That was very unexpected. I like I like how he just stood there waiting for you to notice him, though. Yeah. He wanted me to that was, get that reveal. That was nice. Yeah. That was nice out of him. I am still consistently like two seconds behind. You should be. That's about yeah. the time it takes to uh, transcode the video for you. Yeah, well, transcoding, you know, we need to speed that up. I will work on it get some get some quantum computers I on. well yeah so I'm not I'm not blaming you I it. think uh, I think hardly any of that time is travel time I mean the signal is going from my apartment to San Francisco and to you um, but I think the overwhelming majority of that time is uh, is actually the video processing um, yeah. So, I'm gonna it, I'm gonna guess that where you were seeing those signals in that yard is where you're supposed to be scanning. Uh, <laughs> you gotta go back to the yard. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Let's try this again. There she goes. He just he just frantically tunes that radio. More footprints. Uh oh. Did you walk through some paint at some point? I don't know why I'm doggedly walking in the same God. footprints there. I mean. A few days old. Well, you know, there was only one set of footprints, and that's when she carried you. Yeah, <laughs> she really, <laughs> she really did. Mhm. Mm what the hell? Well, see, now she's not leaving them. Oh, Jesus! Did they move that on you? God, this game sucks. Like really, the last thing I just want is off. is for just walk yeah. Off, man. I'm, I'm going for it. I'm just gonna wake this guy up while I uh, 
you know, jog it off. Hey, you're back here. Yep. Those drums aren't helping. You don't like the drums? Well, I'm just saying, they're, they're gonna wake up the zombies. Yep, this is taking me right into the fucking lot. Yeah. Yeah, this has gotta be right back where you were. Yeah. Oh my god. They keep, uh... <laughs> They keep surprising me. But but you keep having shotgun shells, so it's kind of okay. Yeah. I guess. Do I? How many? I don't have that many. You don't have that many. <laughs> but, you, but you've had a few. I did. <laughs> yep. All right, well... What what are the odds that I need to handle that uh that switch over there, whatever that is? I don't think you do just yet. I wonder if I can shoot that what I only imagine is a giant chunk of chains and padlocks. Well, right. Normally you'd, you'd take your knife to it. <laughs> Normally chains and padlocks can get fucked at long range. <laughs> That's just going to handle that up front. Um I mean, don't forget, uh, there was that magazine up there that I told you about last the, time. Yeah. The, or the, the clip, I suppose. The clip. Um, I think it was on the blue one? I don't remember now. I don't I remember think where the hell it was now. It's got to be over there, right? No, that's a bottle. No, it was... It was like on the first place that you climbed up before. I don't know. It's not like it matters that much. Nah. You get plenty of bullets. So I'm trying to figure out like what the path is here. Um, obviously, I can get up on this building across from me. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if I have to or if I can go around this fence. I think to follow Lily's voice, you can go around the fence. That's what it looks like, right? Like her stuff is on the other side of that fence. Yeah, you're right. It's like out here somewhere. Yeah, it's over by those houses. Yeah, so. Trailers or whatever they are. We're just going to climb down. And uh, walk kind of quiet. Because these uh, damn zombies have demonstrated that they're capable of climbing ladders and jumping fences and all kinds of stuff. Should you uh, walk without rhythm? I'm going to count on not disturbing the worm right now. Yeah, okay. Someone's looking. I can tell because there's like a... There's that sneaky eye up there? Sneaky eye. Look at this guy. On the warpath. I'm making yeah, a lot of noise. Here he comes. Like, man, he's, just, he's just C to 5 k Oh my god. Doing. Okay. That's not working. Something there about uh something about my aim just doesn't That was a good shot. At the end there. What is there a factory for you guys? Oh, I just need practice, that's all. Can you like Oh, this is wide open. Axes? No. This isn't ghosts and goblins. Why is he not seeing me? I'm right in front of him. Looks like he's got something in his eyes. <laughs> yeah. Only five shots left. Oh dear. Some green goo there. I need it. Yep, gotta get that goo. You gotta get them upgrades, man. Life's not living without upgrades. 
right. All right. There you go. There's yeah, something. I think this is uh, a. <clears throat> this is our Lily once again. She just ends up in all the wrong places. Oh, thank God. Thank God for what? Small miracles? I don't know. Isn't that, isn't that the phrase? All right, so there's. I don't understand that. She stopped here to hide. Like, why am I concerned about her stopping there to hide? What's she hiding from? Isn't that more important? Footprints. Who do they belong? She must be in that warehouse. Oh. Smart girl. Lots of good places to hide in there, I bet. Footprints. Who do they belong to? She must be in that warehouse. Smart girl. It's a lot to unpack there. <laughs> I don't know who these footprints belong to. You know, it's like... Uh, did you see the, um, the new Sherlock Holmes show, the BBC one? Uh, I've seen all but the third season. So I saw the first two seasons. So that'd be an easier way of saying that. Yeah. The um, the <laughs> manic like floaty texting mm -hmm. graphic stuff. Yeah. So that's that's what his thought that process nice. reminds me of. Yeah, I can see that. No, I I think Sherlock did some of the best work at uh, showing like the texting idea than like most other shows oh really you're yeah, a fan yeah I, I feel like sure like did a good job of it I mean, the, the floating was a little weird because they would attach it to like people's heads or whatever instead of like instead of like the phones but it it made visual sense yeah and it was it was appealing looking it looked nice She's, she's mad. Yep. But I'm going to exploit this game system by picking items up so that they're... Uh... Oh, son of a bitch. Shit. Power these doors. Yeah, because when, uh, when you interact with stuff... Oh, no, they're hitting me during the cutscene. That's rude. Oh, what's this? Had it and die. He was consumed by a cutscene. Ow. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Just flip the switch, my dude. Oh, no. Oh, Come no. on. No. No. You got axed. Hey, you know, if you just stand still, you'll heal. <laughs> Ow, fuck. Okay. Oh, like no. So. Oh. I got a trophy for, I don't know what. Thinning them out. It had a 30. That's gotta be the, that's gotta be the for the fire. Uh, I, th I think it might just be oh, a no. kill cam thing. Bad. Yeah, maybe. You, you did take out several people. Um, kind of just slowly. So maybe, maybe is that? She must be in that warehouse. Smart girl. Smart girl. Lots of good okay. places to so hide I'm, there, I bet. I'm, uh, I'm going to walk into this a little more prepared this time. Yeah, you're a little low on the, on the ammo there. Is there anything in the bus? There, yeah, there was something that just caught my eye. It looked like maybe some, uh... Some green goo. Could you could you field prep some bullets, maybe? That's a good field idea. Prep them? Just because you're getting a little low, right? Like. Yeah, let's take a look. Sit down in the back of the bus. Make some um, bullets. Not at all a weird, creepy thing to do. Not at all. 
Where do I? Okay. Field crafting. I could I could make one shotgun shell. Really? That's it. All right. Well, now you've got four instead of three. But um, we also have some barrels. Mm -hmm. What's what's in here? Well, and this time you should have like one less person chasing you, because you didn't um, you didn't aggro that woman that was over there in the field, right? Right. So that's handy. There you go. A couple more handgun bullets. Oh, there was something over there to your left. In the bushes. I think. I have to pull that guy. <clears throat> Drop me some bullets now. I'll take the green gel. That works. I see some uh, some other items laying around here. Yeah, there's there's some random crap all around this place. It looks like, which could be nice. I wonder how deep the reset is. The gas mm -hmm. is back. So those, uh... Gas is back. Back again. <laughs> Gas is back. Kill a friend. Gas is back. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop. Okay. It's, ter it's a terrible thing to do. So maybe just lure them, yeah. The other one didn't... Oh, there he goes. Oh. Indecisive. I mean, that's that's very effective ammunition-wise. Yeah, one one bullet to take out two baddies. Not bad at all. There's no other way you could have done that with that level of uh... right. That level of efficiency. I know. I'm not like uh, what's his face from Wanted. Right. What you is? Can't do like the the let's line everybody up and shoot through like four people at once thing. Right. Impossible. Which is too bad. Yeah. What is that guy's name? I really dislike that guy. Whatever his name is. Yeah, Wanted was a terrible movie. I don't. I I can't remember. What the Anybody fuck is this? Mysterious machine. You feel like okay, you've I'm seen this dog, before, man. but you can't quite put your finger on where, when, or where that was. Um, but at any rate, it looks pretty cool, so you decide to keep it in your room. Uh, I'm. The fuck is that? I'm feeling like I've genuinely never seen this before. I. No, no, you've seen it before. You just can't put your finger on when or where. I deny a that. Materious machine. But hey, good on you for your exploration and hoarding. Because you found a fucking weird robo dog thing. Yeah. That's, uh. Oh, you know. When you get to the point where you're crafting bullets in the back of a bus, uh. <laughs> maybe you gotta just well, sweep the, uh. sweep the area. Now you're picking up things that fell off the back of a uh, back of a truck, basically. Yeah. So you know, it's fine. You you get by with what you can, and where you can. See, that was a lot easier than I thought it was. When you ran up there a while ago. I thought you were gonna have to go find like four fuses for that door. Shit. Yeah, me too. That would have been upsetting. Lily? Yeah. Lily. What is... What was her name again? Oh, yeah. Uh, Lily. I think it was Lily. Where's Harry? Where's James? Lily. Came from upstairs. I like how he ducked down to the ground to take the green stuff that was up at his head. 
I wonder if I, uh, if I spill the oil too early, I wonder if it like evaporates, which oil would not do, but you know what I mean? Like, I wonder if there's some kind of a timeout. Yeah. Uh, she ran through that thing. Yeah. Oh. She probably crawled through here. <laughs> I'm gonna investigate this up my ass. Through. Are you gonna ask a, ask it a question? She's a brave and resourceful little girl. Wow. She's gonna be okay. This is the quality banter that everybody comes her. here for. I just can't believe <laughs> how. Uh, it's ridiculous that Sebastian is like waxing lyrical about the resourcefulness of his daughter when she's the one right. that's fucking doing all this hell shit. Ugh. Right. She, she's the one doing all the hell shit. And then he's like just walking through a room full of like feet and hands and stuff. And he's like, oh, my little girl is real clever. I'm like, I get that you're a proud father. But at some point, you start to wonder where did I go wrong? So, I'm guessing that I need to go around that way, but I saw some scary shadows, and there's definitely something moving back there. So, mm -hmm. I thought I'd take a detour, get, get some high ground, see if there's uh, any extra info that we can learn. You should always take a detour if you can. All right, we got a door up here. The real game is never in the actual, like, quests of the game. Somehow I need to get over there. Maybe there's a way on the other side. Um. Oh. We won't find out till you get over there. Yeah, that's, uh, not helpful. So that's a... Okay. No, it's not a shadow. It's, he's real angry at water. Yeah. He's he's splashing. He's real angry. Yeah. He's playing in the pool. He's playing in the bath. It's fine. Does this game have a uh, hold your breath mechanic for the sniper rifle? Uh, I haven't seen one. Oh. Well, that seems like a wasted opportunity. <laughs> uh, yeah. I picked up a, a copy of Sniper Elite 4 um, uh -huh. because uh, somebody on Twitter was lamenting about uh, interesting asymmetric uh, co-op gameplay mode, which kind of piqued my interest. Um, okay. and, uh, and then I sat and I waited for them to, uh, to play with me for like three hours one day. They just never showed. And you had just nothing better to do than just be like, yeah, I'm just going to sit in this game. Yep, I, uh, it was totally a blocking call. Yeah. I, uh, there was nothing was I fine. could do in the meantime. Yeah. That's how games work sometimes. Or days, or whatever. But yeah, they're, uh, the way the game works is interesting. It's all about breath control. Um, uh-huh. I guess that's that's what happens when you're at the uh, the top level sniping game. I would I would imagine breath control is a large part of it. Yeah, there's a there's a show that uh, I want to say the History Channel produced a while back. That was a um, reality competition show, uh, but it was called Top Shot. Mm. And uh, it was actually pretty interesting. I, it was on Amazon Prime last time I looked. Um, but uh, they got together people that were considered top shooters. So people who had, had done really well in shooting competitions and stuff. And uh, then they would put them through different sort of marksmanship competitions. And they got a few that were like, you know, Air Force, Army, Navy, Marine snipers. Um, and they were impressive to watch when they, they would always end up doing, at some point, like a long shot challenge where it was like, how fast can you get down 
and snipe a target that is, you know, hundreds of, hundreds of meters away. And there was one guy who was like a top, he was like a top marine sniper, or, or no, he was a navy sniper, I think. Target was, God, I don't remember how far away, approaching a thousand meters, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Um, and he literally like laid down on his stomach, picked up the gun and shot it. Yikes. Like, first try. Like it was amazing. And I'm sure, you know, some, some part of that is luck, no matter how much training and skill he has, there's still a luck element to anything you do, but it was still just like, holy shit. That's one of the most awesome and yet scariest things I've ever seen somebody do. Well, you know, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 taught me that there is no such thing as luck on the battlefield. All right. I'll, I'll trust, uh, Kojima above my own experiences, I guess. Yeah. Hey, anyway, look, look for the show. Uh, if you've got Amazon prime, it's, it's worth watching. Um, it's one of those rare reality show competition shows. Yeah. That isn't just like, backstabbing and fighting the whole time like for the most part everybody's like really chill and just happy to be in a competition that's all about skills yeah um and then it's also awesome to watch them like have to do you know hatchet throwing or something that they don't normally do yeah that's weird so what we got here we got a seismic trigger yep it seems Four like uh orders offline all right Hmm. Separation imminent if core isn't restored. So they've lost the core. They don't know where it is. That seems uh, problematic. Yeah, you never want to lose your core. No. You got to keep it tight. Yeah. But yeah, you, you watch these people that are used to high-powered sniper rifles or, you know, fast-firing handguns, and then they're like, hey, here you go. You've got to take out, you know, 20 targets in 30 seconds using a slingshot. And uh, needless to say, they often don't do well at that, because that's a hard thing to do. Now so, you're with. to your point about uh, it nice being uh, a reality show, it's not all about backstabbing. I don't know. Yeah. I, I thought it was amazing the night and day difference between uh, Kitchen Nightmares, the UK and the US version. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you mm -hmm. ever watched that. Um, uh, Kitchen, Kitchen Nightmares is the one where he goes into uh, Ramsey and helps them recover right yeah well it's or, yeah it's meant to be there, yeah there's a there's a restaurant that is basically failing and right. it's uh, a rehabilitation kind of thing yeah he comes in to uh basically critique uh whatever they've got going on try and give them some advice on to how to improve their business and um you know mm -hmm. in the in the uk version the uh, the different places that he would visit, it was more or less like they were in dire straits and they really needed help. And sure, there's some yeah. resistance to change, but uh, at the end of the day, they're they're there to incorporate feedback and to to improve and therefore survive. But the U.S. version, it's like they uh, they picked failing business businesses run by people who are willfully dense. Or, and uh, just are belligerent and uh, reactionary. Yeah, I, I, I've, I have watched some of the UK version and I've watched some of the US version, and it's very much, yeah, like the US version, they just wanted drama. Him, the murder with the camera, and the son of a bitch has my. They were, they were all about drama. On the uh, on the U.S. version, damn it! And it was so obvious, especially when you watch them back to back. Like, I gotta 
Yeah. One episode, the one episode of the UK version, one episode of the US version. Um, well, not sure I can trust him. It gone. But he wants out of here as bad as I Oh, want. yeah, I guess my big takeaway from that show actually both versions was uh, how so much of the feedback that he gave applies just as well to uh, software teams as it does to uh, to mm -hmm. restaurateurs. Maybe it'll work better outside. It's all about communication and uh, you know treating uh, Not biting off more than you can chew. Yep. Yep. Cuz there's being being aware of places. Yeah, just being aware of uh, the limitations and bottlenecks in your team and uh, Yeah. All that. I, I remember there being several restaurants where it was like he would go in and they had like one chef and like a four page menu. Yep. And it's like you should probably not have 30 dishes for one person to make. Well, that's new. It's, a, it's really unlikely for one chef to be that good. Um, I don't understand what's happening here. Yeah, just music and green stuff? Green stuff. Is it something outside? I don't know. You're going to get attacked. Yeah. That's going to happen. Um, so I'm starting to wonder if... Uh... Oh. If the big baddie in this mm -hmm. isn't just going to be the photographer guy. Like, I, I thought maybe the photographer guy was going to be a short stay. Like, we were going to deal with him and then move on. Well, I guess this is really the first uh, re-entry into the story, so maybe that's still true, but... What, what if you finish the game tonight? Yeah, I don't... I don't think that's going to happen. Um... <laughs> Gonna happen either, but wouldn't that be amazing? Why climb? No, I just went. Oh, Randall Fig. That was one of the wanted missing guys. That's almost the name of the bad guy from the stand. Yeah, Randall Flag. Yep. Yep. You know, I I recently reread it. Yeah. The the book it, and I was thinking I had to reread the stand. I haven't read either of them since I was you know a teenager. And uh, some parts of it held up really well, and some parts of it did not hold up well at all. Really? Yeah, you've, you've read the book, I'm assuming. Mm -mm, I haven't read either. Uh, my yeah. Stephen King is fairly limited. Um, I think I read, I read one of his anthologies. I read uh, mm -hmm. Skeleton Crew. Mm -hmm. And I forget what else. I don't. That might have been it. He's got a few that are definitely worth reading. Like um, the first few books of the Dark Tower series are really good, along with uh, Eyes of the Dragon, which is kind of a Dark Tower spinoff. Mm -hmm. Um. There's gonna take you your are. picture again. But where's Lily? Uh, Can't let him get away again. You know he's not real. It's not going to do you any good. Um, you think he's not real? One that he wrote as Richard Bachman, which was the hey, regulators, you. was really Your good girl. and worth mm. reading. Where is she? Um, That doesn't look good. They're gonna make me fight these things. Yeah. You didn't know this was a Dagon story. Uh. What do we. What do we have? Looks like he got three of them. No fire left. Yeah, I spent all of that, uh. That oil. Yep. I could, uh, oh shit. Yeah, they're so good at climbing. 
Oh god, I'm so good at shooting the floor. I need to stand still for a second. Oh god. Yeah, so oh, Sebastian. Help. No, come on. Don't fall between the cracks of yeah. two uh, yeah. shipping containers. Oh my god. That'd be a real bad place to fall. Like in real life. Yeah. I don't know about the game. What do these look like? Something from Bloodborne, I think. It's like three heads with shared teeth in between them and a, a reverse human centipede. Reverse human centipede. Oh, shit. You broke your axe, dude. You busted your axe. There are uh, more of them around, I think. Yeah, you got a few million axes scattered around. Ow. God damn. They're so pouncy. Those things, those things are no joke, man. Come on up. You gotta kill both sides, it looks like. Maybe it bled out. Oh, oh, you're so lame with your dodging. Shit, lost him again. Hope I can reach That's what you're worried time. about, Sebastian? Following that asshole? O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Well, you know, finding his daughter and uh, Good. staying well, alive is not important. Board. No, but I know who has her, and he's got powers like nothing else in here. But I lost him. God damn it. I think I can help you out with that. I picked up a frequency I've never seen before. It's coming from City Hall. Great. Where's that? Look up. Do you see a building with a big clock tower? Yeah. That's it. How oh. the hell am I supposed to get up there? It's a bit complex. Come back here, I can explain. Right. I'm on my way. Okay. Don't forget to get another axe. I'm trying to, but they keep uh, interrupting me with cutscenes so cut and... Things. What is this? Yeah, see? It's like after I beat them, now they're out there. Yeah, now they're just everywhere. You got the banshee thing. Right. There's my broken axe. Okay. So anyway, it. Uh, I guess I'll spoil the book, but they're well, never gonna put this in the movies. Yeah, they're, they're never gonna put this in the movies. So, the the story of it takes place over two generations, right? Like the first story happens when they're kids, and the second story happens when they're grown ups and they come back. Yep. So when they're kids, they go down to fight it, and they they. They fight the monster and they 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 leave. Obviously, they survive because otherwise they couldn't come back as adults. Um, that's kind of how time works. Mm. Um, so they they feel like they've defeated the monster. They leave, and as they're on their way out of the under of the lair where the monster lives, um, they lose their way. And the the girl, um, Bev Beverly, uh, feels that the reason they've lost their way is because they're not um, they're not connected anymore. So she decides the way to connect them, and they're all like 11, 12 years old. The way to connect them is for her to have sex with all of the other boys. Yikes! And you know Stephen King was like a 40 year old dude writing this story and it's not a thought process I think most 11 year old girls in the 1950s would have had uh, yeah I mean I don't know like it's totally possible I'm not saying they wouldn't it just seems weird I don't know I, I can I can see where that would come from 
sure. Because I mean, but, um, you're you're saying she felt like they weren't connected after they had had this shared experience, right? Of right, this, this attacking a sewer sewer clan. So, I again, I don't want to spoil anything, but in in the book. The clown is one of very many appearances that it has. Oh, okay. It it is supposed to always appear as the thing that like scares you the most. Yeah. Or as a thing that scares you badly. Mm. Um so like one of them is really freaked out by um birds and the the creature appears as a giant bird and attacks them at one point. Sounds bad. So, yeah, it's just it's just there to scare the shit out of you. Is the whole point of it? Um, it makes it makes sense ish ish in the in the book. Stephen King's books, unfortunately, uh, often leave a lot to be desired when it comes to actually like good solid logic. Sure. Um. They're fun pulpy reads, but that's literally okay. all they are. Oh yeah. I'm not sure if okay is they're, the right they're just word, but yeah, I made it. Um, now, tell me how to get to City Hall. You know, yeah. built with a sort of backstage. That was one of the parts that Some definitely did not hold up well. Test subjects in secret. Most of these passageways are still intact. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. It's also one of those books, uh, and I'm sure movies that would completely fall now apart with, with the inclusion of uh, cell phones. Tunnels. When you go in and out of them, you're basically phase shifting. Yeah, I've noticed that um, there have been some recent remakes that had to come up with, uh, and I, I want to chuckle when I say this, but creative ways to uh, eliminate the encroachment of modern technology. Right. The, there's no power, so you can't charge the battery and the phone dot. Or there's no cell phone reception somehow. Oh yeah, the tower got knocked out, or there's fucking sunspots, or or you know, the person leaves the phone behind and they they forget to take it with them. But I couldn't have given you this. And that's uh, you know meant to add some additional tension. A modern anxiety. Right. You'd never make it through alive without this. Deadly gas leaks, huh? Thanks for saving the worst for last, O'Neill. Based on what we've seen so far, I doubt that it's the worst you'll encounter. You're not helping. Anything else you need to know before you go? Shut up, O'Neill. The gas yes. can only ever affect your lungs and never any other other parts of your body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> so. Obtained gas mask, chapter four, behind the gas wall. Behind the gas curtain. Um, so they're kind of playing this, or they're they're trying to. They're playing this open world bit like, uh, like you might with a Zelda or a Metroid, where mm -hmm. you effectively have access to all of it, but... You have to find the keys to actually get to the the different little sections. Right, you can't and get sometimes to that one part of Metroid until you find out how to roll up into a ball. Right. Yeah. Um. Okay, so after all that narrative that they dropped on us, not really. Of uh, things are floating, but there's secret passages between one place and the next. Yeah, I I thought they were gonna fill up my health when that happened. Um, but they didn't. So I guess I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. You got 3750. You could go and upgrade your brain a little bit. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. But I'm I'm just, I'm jonesing for a mug of Joe. Yeah, I gotcha. It's not going to clean that cup. All right. It's going to trust that uh, it's not just dusty as fuck. Sitting out there. O'Neill hasn't been like spitting in it. It's like sawdust floating around in here. He poured way more coffee into that cup than he drank out of that <laughs> he cup. He sure did. 
Got his half a mug of coffee sitting there, getting cold. Yep, it's left behind. Huh. It could be interesting to have a game mechanic where, like... No, I don't. I don't believe it was. Um, where, like, say you were you were losing this? your sanity through the game. It's yeah. A chance to so it's well, probably skills. a Cthulhu game because Step that's right what up they always bring in. <clears throat> this is insane. Oh but Jesus you're Christ! Losing, you're slowly you losing your sanity as you play the game. To save, you have to go over, work. sit down at like no a typewriter, and write out what you've been going hand. through. To gain your sanity back and save the game. Oh. Yeah, I mean. But like, you have to actually like sit there and type it out. Well, not necessarily type it out, but yeah. It's like a book report. What's great is they're using your actual ammunition on this. <laughs> you just shot Daddy. Uh. -huh. Oh. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot the nurse. Oh, he's got a health bar. So the shooting gallery was a thing that... Yes. Wow, Sebastian. That they introduced they in... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, <Ow>. Yes. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was a Resident Evil 4 thing. Um, there were a couple of shooting ranges that the, uh, that the bandito mm -hmm. would offer. And the prize was always like bullshit. Um, the main reason you would play the shooting gallery is to get these bottle caps, which was, uh, a collectible. This isn't like a fallout thing. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, it's a collectible model viewer thing i don't i don't know like i think probably basically nothing happened if you got them all if you got all the right. bottle caps who cares Let me help that, that's one of the things i never understood about like there's a lot of games where they do like um you play the game and uh as you play the game you will unlock say like behind the scenes development art or yeah. something. I've just I've never gotten that because I've never been like, oh god, I need to see more behind the scenes footage. Yeah. I've always just been like, eh. I mean really if I it'll, it'll if, be there when I get back. If I wanted that so badly I would buy an art book or something. Right. Or I'd I'd buy the extended version of the game that came with it. Back again, I see. And in need of some improvement. Well, there's not really another way to meet. You're getting closer you keep to what showing you up. See. I feel it. My daughter. She's somewhere inside this place. Yes. And you're How weird is it that he creates this woman who Let's constantly talks down at him as his only method of <laughs> dealing with the fact that he's learned new things? I don't know. <laughs> Sebastian, man, he's, uh... Well, I mean... He's a recovering alcoholic. If, if uh, Re recovering alcoholic who killed his dog. I mean, maybe. So what are we gonna juice up? We're gonna. I'm gonna look at stealth again. Yeah, stealth was what you were pushing for before. Eight thousand for Prowler too. Um. On top of whatever it cost you to get Prowler one. bottle break oh right that's the smash them in the head yeah <clears throat> i thought that might be you're looking at you're looking at 12 grand there for bottle break one and two i think the ambush might be handy but also the low profile too would be handy as well i don't know i'm gonna go with low profile too just to uh, push that out. Less noise. And I have one red gel. You do. 
So you might could go with the low profile three. I don't think you have enough for low profile three. I don't. And I feel like I want to hold on to the red gel up until the point I'm ready to spend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yep. think you can cover the ambush if you wanted, but you might have something in uh, combat or health that you could cover as well. The ambush? No. It's out of my budget. Is it? Oh, it's three grand. Okay. Yeah. Um, I keep seeing that 1500 for low profile one. And that's what it is. I think you've done all the cheap ones then. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm stuck until I get more goo. Can you can you farm the gel? Uh, yeah, I think like? if uh, if I want to go out there and just murder murder things, you just got to deal with getting the ammo for it. Mm-hmm. Or or doing enough stealth kills. All right. That's One of the two. Enough. Yep. I should really save this out at the uh, at the safe house. kind of weird having saves so close to each other. Well. Wow. Like save spots. Yes, it is weird. Those are supposed to be spread out and artificially scarce. Or you're just constantly dealing with like a two second save delay like with, uh, you know, Dark Souls or Minecraft or something. Where everything is just immediately saved. Mm -hmm. You just gotta deal with it. Oh, you made a mistake? Oh, that's too bad. I started playing RimWorld that way. Playing it with a, uh, a permadeath. So there's only one save game. And you can't control... Like, it, it just saves every day. You can't trigger a save. Okay. Unless you're quitting. It, it makes it a lot more... Like, there's no way for you to, you know, cheat. Yeah. Um, oh, can I get out this you way? Can't, you can't save. You can't save scum to to undo a you know bad roll. I don't really do uh, podcasts um, mm -hmm. exactly, but uh, same. But there was one that I listened to a few episodes of um, called Designer Notes. Mm -hmm. And uh, this guy, I forget his name. It's a it's a cool like Scandinavian name. It's like Lars or or something. Uh -huh. um, anyway, he worked on Civilization f Four or Five, one of the two. Mm -hmm. He's one of the designers who worked with Sid Meier, and. Um, Sid was a guest one week. Actually, a couple of weeks, I think. He he was, like, on two episodes. Um, and he was talking about how save game mechanics are tough in, in games because uh, if you make it too flexible, the player has the ability to ruin the game for themselves. Yeah, they and, take advantage of it. And, uh, and how, how much... Or rather, how little fun. I forgot this. Uh, this priest is still, still in here. I want to pay him a visit. But yeah, I would hope they would bring you in there with story. Yeah. So far, that doesn't seem likely. <laughs> doesn't seem likely, huh? Oh, they haven't done a very good job of like. Go check out this cool thing. It's been more, hey, walk into this office. No, no, no. No. Oh. oh, why are you so tough? She was wearing all that armor, dude. It was a sports bra. Barbarian princess army. Or armor. Not army. A barbarian princess army would be an amazing thing. 
and that doesn't attract like every zombie for. I I am willing to bet that some of these cars have alarms, and um, and that's where the risk reward comes in. Mm. But you were like that bottle of gunpowder is worth it. I had to have it. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. It's I, the most I this had season. had to have it. Um, it's tickle me Elmo of 2017. That's right. Jar of gunpowder. It's, it's fun for, you know, all ages. I hear a lot of <clears throat> snarling. Mm hmm. I hear that too. Oh, he's up in the tree. Oh, it's one of these assholes. Shit. Yeah. I'm just prowling. You remind me a little bit of. Uh, Is it Dark Souls? Or was it Demon Souls? I can't remember one of them. And it was like a half man, half fish kind of thing that would attack you. Yikes. I think it was Demon Souls. Um, what? Yeah, it was Demon Souls. It was the Tower of Latria, the second stage. These things would, would attack you, and you had to, like, you know, kill them. But when you did, they would just, like, fall in, like, they would split in the middle, and the front half would keep attacking you. you what? To, you had to kill it again. Yeah, they were a giant pain in the ass. Demon's Souls was really good at giving really obnoxious pains in the ass that you had to deal with. Well, I successfully uh, navigated that. Uh, Don't knock over the barbecue. That garden nonsense. Um, yeah, and I'm starting to learn the different noises that these assholes make. Yep, yeah, there's the banshee thing. Is that a is that a red? I don't know. That's a it's panel. A Huge puddle of blood and uh Oh. Look at all the sniper again. rifle sucks. Yeah, I don't think that's how sniper rifles normally oh my work. God. Oh. Oh my god. I'm just gonna go for the body shots. Oh, I think I just threw that bullet away. I think it was already dead. It was just falling very slowly. Those death scenes take too long. Those, uh, yeah, those long death scenes can cost you ammo. Yep. But at least I got paid. Got paid nice too, fifteen hundred. Check the back of the truck. Nothing. No weird dogs. Yeah, what's the deal? Oh, I can investigate the trash. What's in there, Sebastian? Gunpowder. Who would throw that One away? Man's trash. I mean, maybe they had enough. <clears throat> Maybe all their friends got them gunpowder that year. Yep. It happens. Oh, you know, I can't. More often than you'd think. Can't go in that way. It's around here. Oh, it's this place. You're back here again. Yep. All right. Probably Fair should enough. let Kidman know what's going on. Kidman, can you hear me? Should you? Loud and clear. What have you got for me? The good news is that I located O'Neill, and he was able to get me on the trail to find Lily. That's great. The bad news is that Union is literally falling apart around me, and it's mostly populated by corpses and monsters. Oh, and that psycho I told you about, the one with the powers he shouldn't have, he's got Lily. I'm getting ready to head into the Marrow, which you neglected to tell me about, to get to him. 
sorry we didn't have time for our briefing before sending you in, but we didn't think it would be this bad. It's just as bad as Beacon in here. No, it's worse. You think they could have like daughter wasn't jacked him through the matrix okay, and just dumped a bunch of info on him as he went through. Right. Can you give me any information on this person? Male, about five foot ten, black hair. And it's a dream state. He fancies himself as some sort of artist. Wow. Not much to go on. Tell me something I don't know. He he, he just described oh, me. That is harsh. I'll call you later. That is that is super harsh. Fancies himself as something of an artist. Yeah. Just gonna top up my uh, grubby mug. It's the same mug. It's kind of handy that you get the same mug every time. I'm a big fan of uh, things being. Yeah, wow. The inside of that mug is ultra grimy. <laughs> oh. The things they spend time modeling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's no good. So have you have you heard of the game The Long Dark? Yes. It's like a survival sim where you're stuck in the Canadian wilderness. As you as you yeah. play that game, uh, you will occasionally find cups of coffee mm. uh, scattered around the world um, that you can you know eat up and, and enjoy. Apparently, the publishing company actually had some of those coffee mugs made and sent them to people that were like playtesters or you know video game blogger types. Yeah. That's a really smart and clever, you know, tie-in. And it's way better than just, like, a t-shirt or some shit like that. Like, yeah, that's a cool thing. Especially because you get to find the so mugs in the, the game. this is the computer O'Neill was talking about. Let's try that password. It's kind of like uh, that one guy who made a USB uh, walkie-talkie that... Um, would activate whatever the button is to uh, to talk to Delilah in uh, in Firewatch. All right. Except obviously that wasn't you know sent to any journalists or anything. Right. It wasn't like a, a perk. There was something. Have we have we been here before? I mean. Yes. Yeah, you've been in operations? Okay. I, I'm i second-guessing myself now. I, I felt like I was... I thought we went to the armory. Yes, that is exactly correct. So this is a new location. This is something there were else. Glowing things, there were glowing things in that room behind you. Like, like items you didn't pick up. Let's check them out. Got some bullets, some weapon parts. Yeah, it's all good. I think I saw something on the other side of the room too. Yeah, on that shelf. We got some uh, some craftables. Yeah, there you go. You turn the pipe, make another harpoon. I guess that's it. Yeah, the armory, which was like lacking any kind of weapons. Yeah, it had like. Six bullets and a shotgun. So, a lot of dead people for you to kill. Yeah, like so let's see. Thing. Yeah, there's something. That guy is crushed. Um, His girlfriend just left him. It's bad. He's bad. Yeah, Not in good in shape. shape. He, just, he just needs like a beer and a hug. He'll be all right. He needs more than that. Maybe you cry it out. Ah, <clears throat> oh, Sebastian. Not even gonna pay for it, huh? Seems like things didn't go so well down here either. Really? Guess not. So, um, so you mentioned Dark Tower. Yeah. And uh, Dark Tower is a Which book. I've not seen the movie. It's a it's a book series that I recently expressed an interest in reading. Mm -hmm. And uh, Twitter told me do not read. No. So the first the first book is really good. Um, yeah. The Gunslinger. The first book is really good. 
Uh, and like I said, I would read Eyes of the Dragon, which is uh, in the same world, same universe, but not uh, part of necessarily the same like timeline kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but really, so Eyes of the Dragon is actually like written as like a kids slash tween book. So like kids that are like the age where they'd read like The Hobbit would read Eyes of the Dragon. Okay. Um, but it was good. It was it was a good solid book. Uh, the rest of the Dark Tower series or the Gunslinger series is hit and miss. Some of them are really good. Uh, the first two or three are, are pretty decent stories, and then it gets real bad at the end. Really? Like just real bad. So wait. Yeah. What's what's responsible for the badness? Looks is like it um? Stephen King puts himself in the book. Okay, I mean, <laughs> like that's that, literally what makes it fall apart. That that doesn't sound that bad. I mean, he's put himself the, in all of his movies, right? Even the yeah, even the TV no, stuff. The, the whole series becomes very meta, um, to where like, so there's this theory, uh, or there was this theory that all of Stephen King's works are related or the vast majority of them are related. Yeah. So that's, that's exactly why I was interested in this series of books. Right. Um, so at some point in the series of books, King started wanting that to be true. Yeah. And so he started writing this, these books, he started putting things in these books to make that theory true. Yeah. That's, that's which, what I heard. That was the appeal for me. Them not out super well well wow. and it's unfortunate because like they started off really strong so was it just like contrived like he was forcing stuff to happen so that he yeah. could make those connections yeah it, it ended up being this thing where there's this construct that links all the stories and worlds together and that's this thing that the characters have to deal with and then they come into the real world, our world, and they run into Stephen King right before he gets hit by a drunk driver. Yeah. Uh, as happened in real life to Stephen King. And it's just this. Wait, what? Was he was weird. he actually hit by a drunk driver? Did that actually yeah, yeah, happen? Years, yeah, years ago he was. Uh, and a drunk driver came flying down the road and hit him and nearly killed him. Mm. Um, so he he puts that into the story, and then it. Oh well, I created you, so like, got to make sure I stay alive. Kind of like it just became this weird meta bullshit that just did not work well. It 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 fell apart very quickly. Hmm. Um. But that was only like books six and seven, I think, of the series. Maybe maybe five, six, and seven. Um, the first few were really good. Um, I've read not all of Stephen King's stuff, but the vast majority of his stuff. And most of it is decent. You know, like I said, it's, it's schlocky, pulpy horror. Um... He's got a few books that are like really stand out good books. Um, Tommy Knockers was really good. The Stand was maybe not good, but interesting. Yeah. Cujo was terrible. Um, Carrie was surprisingly good. Like to have that good of a first novel is not a small feat. That was his first, huh? Carrie was his first novel. He actually wrote it while he was still in... Um, and, uh, yeah, he, he did a really good job on Carrie. But, uh, yeah, he, he had a lot that were real bad. Just terrible. Like, Netflix recently made a series or a movie from Gerald's Game... Yeah. Which was not which was not one of the books I remember more fondly. 
I didn't uh, watch it. Um, I haven't watched it yet. Uh, I don't know if I will. Or... They, they must uh, have got some kind of a sweet licensing deal with his publisher or, or something, because I, I think there was another another uh, Netflix original that they put out. It was I based on so, a yeah. Stephen King property, something like uh, 1922 or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I haven't read... That's based on some short story of his. I haven't read that one. I think it's got... Uh, I haven't watched it yet. Thomas Jane in it. Yeah, I think so. It, it looked interesting from just a little bit I saw about it. Are currently in effect. Um, down can be disengaged by two oh, you get another one of these puzzles. Might as well give it a try. Yeah. Mm, line's busy. Better call back later. Man, there's a sound I bet you a lot of kids today haven't heard. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. When was the last time you heard a busy signal? It's always a voicemail. Alright. Um, but yeah, King King had some good books. If you if you stick to the stuff he wrote when he wasn't doing Coke, it's generally better. So you just have to find what years Imagine Stephen King was doing Coke. And then not read the books he wrote Stand those years. Uh, Recreation area emergency lockdown disengaged. The Shining was okay. One of the uh one of those few books, I would say the movie was slightly better than the book. I'm you sorry, which? The Shining. Oh. Kujo wasn't good either way. Either as a book or a movie. Wow. Where the fuck is he going? Yeah, I mean, this is... <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No. Sebastian, I wanted to pick up the gel. Oh, uh, no, but you needed to go down the stairs. Oh, another friend. Yeah. What if I just climb down every time they climb up? What if I just stay on the ladder? What if I just stay here? What if oh. we never play the game again? Nope. Is that the sweet spot? Yeah, this is this is it. If I stay on the ladder... God, uh -huh. it's so good to be in software. <laughs> to be able to... Uh, they're looking for me now. They can't see me. They did not unit test this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe the witch has something else. Maybe she's got some moves. Nope. Not yet. So here's the thing. Um, yeah. Either this is a, like a true timed encounter, and I'm just waiting for uh, the thing to unlock, or or they're basing it all on these idiots being dead. I don't believe they're going to unlock the door until those those things are dead. Really? That's my guess. I could be wrong. This game seems like they would take the easy way out and they would just wait to count to zero and instead of actually running a timer. I mean, they couldn't figure out how to make the guy climb the ladder appropriately. True. And, and that dude over there was just pacing back and forth. System like a, like reboot. All right, so that was that was a timed thing, apparently. I I I will take the loss on that. All right, so I got two up on top of the ladder, and the witch is still down here with me. Oh, shit! No, no. No, that, that didn't work well. It worked great. What are you talking about? 
I'm living my best life right now. Jesus. <laughs> Just the, I saw you get stabbed by the witch, all right? Totally fine. Yep, you're fine. Um, Except for the smell. The smell was bad. But, God damn it! it's only been 15 minutes since I last looked at the clock. I'm, I'm kind of... We only got we only got fifteen more minutes to go, right? Yeah, that is true. Um, you can make it for another fifteen minutes. All right, I'm gonna pull this. I have no idea what. Just do it. What's the worst that could happen? We're draining things. The and... smell's just gonna get worse. Yeah, now it's a dry smell. Yeah. Um, you just concentrated it. That's all you did. Oh, the, the ladder over here. Okay. So, yeah. So, Stephen King. Um, Gunslinger. Worth reading. Eyes of the Dragon. Worth reading. Uh, Tommy Knockers. The Shining. Carrie. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, so... Kind of having about it. having read uh, Skeleton Crew, mm -hmm. um, the anthology. The short I've, stories I've, are, are I've, surprisingly good. Yeah, I've, I've read a couple other shorts that were in a couple of different other collections, um, and they were all great. But I really did feel like uh, like it was kind of trashy, and mm -hmm. like I, I couldn't really see myself sitting through an entire novel of that. Uh, so buddy, all, all buddy. the ones that I just named yeah. are his shorter ones. Yeah. That makes them a little better. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Maybe he just... Uh... Yeah. He needs a good editor. Um, and he doesn't usually get it. Is that going to kill you? Come on. All right. Uh, yeah, he need he needs a really good editor, and he off, uh, which is which is too bad. If you just stand still, you'll you'll heal. It'll be fine. Wouldn't I mean, it be amazing if hanging out on the ladder didn't count towards your healing? <laughs> so they can't find you, but you can't heal. Yeah, I I bet that would not count as standing still. So... Hmm. I guess I'm going to... Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to use a health item. Wow, I don't know what just happened there. All right. If you find, I think it's like one of his first collections of short stories. It's the one that has uh, the long walk and running man, I think, on it. Mm. So this um, is the dreaded gas. That was a pretty good collection of short stories. I'd never make it through without this thing. It's like a maze in here. You wouldn't. I don't. I don't think Sebastian knows what a maze looks like. Yeah. Mazes don't usually have, like, a you are here sign on. And three whopping tunnels. <laughs> this really... This didn't say maze to me. Damn. No. That means I can't rely on my firearms. My mild inconvenience, maybe? Okay. So... No shooting. Technically, that sign says you can't bring any flammable things in here. At least that's what I read off of it. His uh, over-the-shoulder GoPro doesn't work when he's wearing... <laughs> I 
I don't. I don't. I don't think she can see you. I don't feel good about my chances at doing this. I. I've gotten sloppier and sloppier in my stealth game. Mm-hmm. Well, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. Is it going to end the game here? <laughs> Just give up? <laughs> she can't see you because you're half hidden behind that blue crate. No. Nope. Just gonna run. Yeah, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I can run out of stamina and be and you get eaten. Eaten, yeah. There's no way you're gonna play through what's left, what what you've gone through since the last save again. Yeah, I would. I would probably just stop. I think it's all about the bottles. You think? You get a bottle it all up. Do I, uh, do I have, I must have bottles. Yeah, you're, you're constantly full on bottles. That's right. So I'll trade out my sniper for bottles. That's a good, uh, good call. I don't even know where I'm going. What's, uh... One of those three tunnels. Wow, this place is like a maze. Ooh. <laughs> That's not... Okay, so we've got locked doors going on. That's a thing. Yep. And electric lock. Damn. Gotta no. follow the trail. Follow the trail. Okay, so we're following the cabling. Yeah. I see you, metal pipe. Oh. I'm getting up. I'm just gonna go. Make them harpoons. Oh shit. Can I tap this lady on the shoulder and uh, duck around her the other way? Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> it's fine. Totally fine. You got stealth still. Yeah. Wow, this is a this is a lot. That's a lot of vomit. Oh. Okay. That was um. Oh, so that was that. Okay. Well, we'll we'll see where they bring me back in, because uh, mm -hmm. I guess they're. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. Oh no. You changed scenes, so they were like, "Let's give them this." Yeah, they have uh, they have little quick saves all over the place. Thankfully, sure. don't forget the metal pipe. Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, oh, oh, but you know that's a that's a great point. No, it won't let me. It's not a it's fucking not firearm. I could I could use. Version. Yeah, I guess, but I could use that harpoon. But yeah, you're telling me, so. like, maybe the harpoon's a flammable liquid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. That didn't help anything. Yeah. Oh, because she's like. Not there. She hasn't been loaded yet. Shit. Okay. Don't don't see me. No, she saw me. What is happening? Okay, that was very easy for her to just grab me like this. You know, what's the point of even wearing a gas mask if it protects you from things like that? Mm, that's a great question. 
We already established earlier that gases can only affect your lungs. So you should be fine with her vomit. My patience is extremely thin right now. <laughs> it's too bad you can't just be like, you know what, fuck it, and just fire a bullet. See what happens. Yeah. Just ignite that shit. Yeah. And I didn't... Is it, is it bad? I didn't forget about the metal pipe. I'm just choosing to... It's fine. Pick it up you, later. You've gotten by without them so far. I think you'll you'll be fine. I'll try for the stealth kill. I don't think I can. I would be surprised if the stealth kill actually worked here. Yeah, what would the stealth kill be on a creature like that? Mm. Don't turn around, lady. Throw a bottle ahead of you? Oh my god, that's kind of vicious. That's not enough. Just, just jump and stab as much as you can. Wow. Did I just get away with that? Um, apparently. And she's just like, oh, that hurt. Good thing she, there's nobody uh, here. She did not sound alarmed at all. Maybe maybe the stealth kill doesn't register as pain yet. Oh, hey, there's the thing you got to turn on. To get that door open. I'm scared she's going to see me. That's understandable. But we've already established that you can only rarely be hurt while things are... It's gonna reset them all. Damn. Yep. Hopefully that did something. Hopefully that did something. Yeah. Is, is what he just told us. Man. He's not the most... He's not the most loquacious of... Uh... No, wait, that means talking, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's not that either, I guess. He's not super talky. He's fairly, he's fairly quiet. She's, she doesn't sound very good. I mean... Oh. Alright, do it again. Really? You're gonna uh, have to. I fucked up. I mean, I should have just... I should have just slipped out while she was in there staring at the wall. Mm -hmm. But... Um, but I didn't. So right, I'm just you gotta, gonna. You gotta stealth. You gotta stealth her again. I don't. I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna wait. It can't take more than two times, right? Yeah. <sighs> you saw how many sniper shots she took. Yeah, but you know, you kept shooting the ground and. I. I shot her at least three or four times. There's no way sniper bullets are as powerful as a, a knife in Sebastian's hands. Wow. Just, just there's no way. Have you seen? Have you seen Sebastian? <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a pretty fit dude. Like you combine the DTs with a knife, and you he's, got a recipe for disaster. He's just out of control. It's like Rambo One. Yeah. God, Rambo One was such a good movie. And then, man, did they fuck up that franchise. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> like, the first movie was so good. And it was this whole, like, anti-war thing. And, like, you know, the reality of PTSD. And then 
Rambo 2 is like, let's have him shoot a bunch of people. Yeah, Rambo's crazy. Let's drop him behind the enemy yeah. lines. Yeah. Like, man, they fucked up that franchise. God, Sebastian, why do you sneak so slow? I gotta get up. Grabbing the metal pipe. It's important. You never know when you might need it. Got it. Uh, thank God. It's gonna be that terrible if she's waiting terrible. for you at the top of the ladder. She still could be. See, I think I would just leave the mask on, actually. Me way. too. That would I not would have been. Trust that, yeah. Like, how do you know there's not more gas up here? Is it a heavy gas or a light gas? <laughs> Apparently, it's a heavy gas. What the hell, man? What the hell? All right, so I guess we cleared this out. We got a computer here. Oh, I think that's just a. It's just some email you can read. Or something. A little, a little lore, you know. Yeah. Data. Which, how much of that do you care about? Two million exabytes of storage are needed to activate the wireless. Two million exabytes. That's a lot of storage, dude. That's that's a whole lot of storage. And wouldn't two million exabytes have a new name? Yeah, maybe. Wouldn't that end up being like two yottabytes or something like that? I don't know what comes after exa. I know it's some other stupid made-up name. <laughs> well, all names are made up. Somewhere along the way. Some, some when, sometime long ago, was like, you know what would be a good name for somebody? Owen. Yep. And that was it. They were just like, Owen would be a good name for somebody. And then it stuck around. I feel like I'm... Oh. Uh, okay. I almost feel like you're back where you started. No, I am far from I it. I know you're not. But um, I was really hoping that I would be getting closer to a safe house, and I'm... I'm actually not doing that at all. I can't. Uh, I can't see through this window. I'm so small. You can't. You can't pop up and look out. I, I want to, <laughs> uh, because I'm not confident that this is where I want to be. Yeah. There's only one way to know. Open the door very slowly. That was not as slow as I kind of hoped. All right, looks like we got to... really fast slow. Get some crap on the ground. This box is online. Full on shotgun shells, really? Just, just internet of shit. Is there a workbench get, in here? Did you get hit by the Comcast outage the other day where just like nothing would load? Nope. No? I am not a Comcast yeah. subscriber. Oh, wow. Well. I, uh, I, 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 yeah, I have a, a locally sourced, handcrafted, artisanal ISP. Um, okay. Yeah, it's one of these, uh, these small local ones. They have contracts with whoever are doing the backbone that goes through this area, mm -hmm. and, uh, and they run fiber to, uh, a bunch of the apartment complexes that are popping up all over Hillsboro and um nice. yeah no I, I i get a i get a really nice uh symmetrical 50 megabit connection for 40 bucks a month dang yeah it's pretty good and i could up that to a gig for 60 but i don't come to westland cuz i'm just one guy what am i going to do with a gigabit if yeah, Westland, I will happily pay them sixty a month for a gigabit. I mean, it's great. I uh, 
I can't. I'm paying Comcast like a hundred and something. For, yeah, you are. Winnie up and down. And they probably won't uh, won't give it to you without TV or something. I, they will. That's why it's costing me a hundred something. Yikes. Yeah. Well, we were supposed to get the, there was rumors of Google Fiber for a while, right? And then that got shut down. Yeah. Um. And then uh, CenturyLink came by, and they were like, "Oh, we're gonna run Fiber." But, um, and I, I got like a month's worth of it and ran, you know, speed tests and everything, and it was just ridiculously slow. Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me? Well, that's too bad. It really was. I would have been happy to have it. That was amazing. Mm-hmm. He did the uh, he did the coughing. Fuck you guys! But he was actually mm-hmm. coughing at the same time. Yeah, yeah, that's all done. Because he needed that respirator. Well, you know, just in case they were gonna send somebody through. After all, he doesn't want to piss them. No, no, I I was I was just coughing. I, right. I wasn't saying anything. I like these little rats. I was. I'm disappointed you couldn't stealth kill the rat. I don't want to. The rats are cool. I'm not saying they're not cool. The rats it are. Just should have offered you. It just should have offered you the stealth kill. Just the option. Yeah, you're right. I I would to refuse it. to take it. Yeah. Completely understandable. Okay, city hall access. That's where I'm headed. Yep. Um, T cell zombie now. Yeah. Okay. The T the T cell was the, the that was the tyrant one, right? The the big baddie in the first couple of games. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. God, those were such good games. Like the first two Resident Evils. Four was good. Four was the the Spanish one, right? The escort mission. Yep. Yeah, that one was good too. I didn't play many of them after that. I didn't play any of them after that, actually. Four was great. I played the first four, and that was it. I don't think I ever played any of the Code Veronica or. Any- I have Code Veronica on the Dreamcast. Well, look at you. Yeah. Did you ever get the the Dreamcast stream set up? My way. The back Streamcast. To yeah. 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 I, uh, I, I, oh, I have a small amount of trouble with the Dreamcast setup, and that is, um, every Dreamcast has a battery, uh, wired to the board. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I need to reset the clock every time I, uh, start it up, uh, because the battery's dead. And so that's, that's a little annoying. Um, yeah. Because it's like forever, uh, it's forever 1998. Well, I could, but it requires soldering stuff. And I think you need to like break off some clasps and maybe like reattach Mm -hmm. them and stuff. And I I wanted to try and find uh, like a, a video console repair place or something. Maybe there's someone who specializes in quote unquote vintage stuff. Maybe sure. they would do it for me. It seems like we live in an area where that would be and you could find. Yeah. So like that's somewhere in Portland there's somebody who's like, Yeah, I can fix your Nintendo. Yeah. And I, I in fact I yeah, I think the last time I talked to uh Poli, I was talking mm-hmm. to him about this this problem that I had and he, he made some recommendations. There was a place in Beaverton, I think. That mm-hmm. he thought could, yeah, that, uh, that doesn't surprise me at all. He I thought they could, bucks. they could help me out, and yeah, so uh, that's that's ready to go, more or less. Um, 
I think the last thing I did was uh, to pop in Sonic Adventure because I wanted to just relive some of that. And uh, I had uh-huh. some, some trouble getting the disc to read, so maybe I need to also invest in some, uh, some of those buffer CD cleaner things. One of those old kits that uh, nobody buys anymore because... Yeah, yeah, like the ones that would come with like the lotion thing and then you'd rub yeah. it on the... Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's been so long since I ever had to think about that. I, I don't know what happened with like DVDs and Blu-rays, if they just got so good or or we, what. Uh, we're cleaning out our uh, garage for some upcoming construction. And I was going through a box of giveaway stuff, and it was like CDs that we didn't want anymore. And I was trying to repair some of them so that they were... Uh, not Not skipping... No, like just just the case, so that oh. it was like all together. Because we had somewhere like we'd saved the inserts, but we hadn't saved the case. Mm. Um, and it liter- it took me a minute to remember how to take the part that holds the CD out of the CD case, so I could replace the insert behind it ah. and then put it all back together. It's like, man, I haven't done this in like a decade. How the hell do I do this again? So that was that was very strange. Yeah, these are skills that uh, skills that you kinda, quickly lose. They go away. Yeah. So here we are, eleven, twelve, or a little over. But uh, I think I'm just gonna see if I can milk a little more. Good to see. We were we were a little bit of a late start. Trying to get the microphone working. Oh yeah, that's right. So you got you got at least another couple minutes. People aren't gonna be mad at you. You've been doing a decent amount of like running away. Athleticism might not be a terrible uh, purchase at some point. Yeah, that's a that's a great call. I was kind of looking forward to uh, getting that that top tier low profile, but I, I still don't have enough for it. Um, oh, yeah, you're a couple thousand short. But, uh... You could always just save it up. Yeah, I could. But you're right. I mean, you don't want to be a one-trick pony, right? Uh, maybe I, a little... I, I mean, it feels like if you maxed out stealth, you would be in pretty good shape. The game would become much slower because you'd have to be doing stealth all the time. Well, okay, so they don't say specifically that it's only when you're crouched. They say footsteps. Mm. So I'm hoping okay. that with uh, with low profile three, I'll be able to just walk around. Maybe. But um, I thought the low profile was less. But you thought the low profile was what? Was only less noise when you were crouched. Foot, your footsteps produce less noise, making enemies oh, slower okay. to investigate. I was wrong then. And that's all it says for all three. But that doesn't mean that it's still not true. Well, and that doesn't necessarily mean you can do stealth kills from low profile. You probably still can't run around, even with low profile 3. Right. You'd have to be, you know, you still have to be cautious. Oh, that's it. Prowler is the move faster while crouched. That's that's where I saw crouched. And these are kind of expensive. Yeah. Especially to have a second lock on them down there. Hmm. That predator one could be handy, though. Yep. I like the uh, the God's VG Black Emperor icon. Yeah. So. Stamina oh, recovery like increased. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
you recover your stamina a little faster. Oh, this is a this is a little agility thing. Um, oh yeah, that could be nice. Automatically dodge. Oh, I don't know. That might save you from some of those uh, swipes from behind, where the the ladies just try to snatch your shirt from behind. I'm going to take this three thousand uh, endurance to just to. Just to up the meter a little bit. It's not going to wipe out the... It's not going to wipe out the bank. And, um... Yeah, I think that's... Not bad. There you go. I don't think I really picked up, uh, I already did weapon upgrades, crafting. Mm -hmm. Sniper rifle cartridges, you're down to one eight. Not that that's been the handiest thing ever, but. No, sniper rifle is a piece of crap. Well, to be fair, you haven't pumped very much into uh, upgrades on it, so... That is maybe true. It be maybe it would get better. Yeah. But maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. Totally true. Well, okay. So that's where I'm gonna... I'm gonna push it off. And, you know, at the end of the stream, I'm feeling a little better. Like, I really think that... Uh, that last week... My uh, my apathy towards the game was coming out of the the mire that is the open world nonsense, and um, I think if I just keep pushing towards the goal, uh, maybe it's not going to be so bad. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. But um, but yeah, so. I guess that's it. Uh, I'll be back on uh, on Thursday at 9 p.m. Pacific, and uh, Kenneth may or may not be there. We'll see. I, I will do my best. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching.